Welcome to Academy, where we teach you bullshit about things that are legitimate. Um, so we're going to talk about TCP and UDP. What is the best way to explain that? So, okay, when, <laughs> when you want to browse a website or uh, you want to get to a certain file or well, pretty much anything on the internet, you're going to use TCP. And the main reason you're going to use TCP is because it's reliable. So if you lose a few packets, if you decide to throw them outside the window because some router decided to be a total asshole, which, uh, hello, ClearOS, we're talking to you. Um, you want to use TCP because it says, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, we didn't get that last packet. And it's like, oh, sorry, let's restart. And it's a great protocol in general because it runs the majority of the web because the majority of the web does not need to be instantaneous. Although most people are sitting there you know, trying to load YouTube. I'm like, it's not loading, George. And the main reason it's not loading is because TCP packets get fucking lost. They just get lost. There's no other better way to say it, right? So like when rays of sun come in, that's more like UDP, right? So it sounds like wah, 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 wah. It doesn't care where it sends it, right? That's UDP. TCP is more like uh, going pee, right? So when you take a piss, you really do not want to hit the floor. Why don't you want to hit the floor? Because then you get yelled at. And that's what happens with TCP. When you hit the floor, it tells you you hit the floor and that it didn't get that packet and it's mad, right? Or like when you didn't put the toilet seat down. Another problem, that's TCP. Um, <clears throat> when you want to browse the web, you want to use TCP. When you want instantaneous, absolute, clear communication like in VoIP um, or, uh, well, pretty much mainly VoIP. I mean, I, I really don't know anything else that uses UDP on a daily recurring basis that absolutely needs it. Um, the main reason is, is uh, take free PBX, for instance. Um, we use that a lot. Um, UDP is king. And the main, the main reason is, is it will it will send that voice message, right? So when you pick up the phone and it says, hey, George, what's going on? You hear, hey, George, what's going on? Unless, of course, there's some convoluted NAT problem or, well, 10 other thousand things that uh, Schmooze will tell you is wrong. Um, but in general, UDP is king when it comes to voice communication or really any instantaneous communication. When you want to use anything else, you want to use TCP. And, and that's the general gist. Um, you, you really want reliability when you're trying to get current data, when you're trying to get something that's, uh, that's mission critical, right? I know a phone call is mission critical. It really is. So it's kind of a, it's kind of an oxymoron. It's like, Hey, we're going to use UDP. We're going to use this thing. that's like, hi, and then nobody cares. It, it doesn't make any sense. I know that, but it really, it really does. Because if you use TCP on a VoIP call, this is what you're going to get. That's no fun. Is it? Nobody likes a dead call. When you use UDP, you're going to get the call. You're going to get what I'm saying. You're going to hear what I'm saying every time, as long as the network's set up properly, which of course, that's a whole other situation. But that, that's the general, general idea is, is when you want something instantaneous and reliable and communicative and, and, uh, and it doesn't have any latency, UDP is king because there's absolutely no processing protocol. There's no, hey, I need to unpack this. I need to get confirmation that that's the first packet that was sent. I need this, that, and the other. UDP is, I sent you the fucking packet. If you don't like that, well, then too bad. You're getting the next packet. And if you don't like that one, well, good, because we're going to send you a third one. Um, and that, that, it, that's the general, you know, um, you can almost take it as, uh, as electricity, you know, electricity running through wires, that's UDP, um, in general, uh, because when electricity flows, flows around a copper wire, um, it doesn't really give a shit. It doesn't ask anybody. It doesn't check the end of the copper cable. If you're holding it or not, it doesn't care. It's just going to shock you. TCP on the other hand will be like, Hey, I see that you have a hand at the end of the, the copper wire. You don't want that. That's, that's incorrect, and it will stop communication. Um, that's the general idea. Also, water. It's good for the body. Now, Brennan may tell me that this is a really bad video. I don't know, but I'm pretty much done. So, hello. I mean, we're going to leave it running. He's going to leave it running. I'm going to check my text messages.